Now, as you can see, Hall is the older and the more experienced of the two. But Basharat has the unbeaten record. And with both men coming off stoppage wins in their last bout, confidence will not be an issue here. This is going to be an incredible matchup, and we will go to Buddy Johnson to get this one underway. We cannot wait. Pama London, we are set for three five minute rounds in the Bantamweight division. Introducing first to my left in the blue corner, standing five feet nine inches tall and weighing officially at 135.4 pounds with an official record of three wins, no defeat. Representing Harrow, London, England, he is Javid Bashara. And his opponent in the red corner to my right, standing 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighing officially at 135 pounds with 3 wins and 3 defeats. Representing Gilliam Kent, England, he is Tony T-Dog Hall. When the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Daniel Mulvahedi. So one of the most eagerly awaited bouts of the evening. And I think most people in the bantamweight division will be looking very keenly at this one, Chris. Such a contrast of styles, such an incredible opportunity for both men in their Bama debut. We are underway in London. I'm picking up on what you said earlier. Look at the way Yavid switches from orthodox to southpaw, light on his toes, fluid, letting the shoulders roll. Overhand right to a left hook. Beautiful stuff here from Basharat, but Hall is a tricky guy here. He's got great boxing, good awareness within headspace. Look at that, going 360 there from Basharat. That's that Taekwondo style that we mentioned during the walkouts. Timing key there, just out of range and just slipped to the side. If that had landed cleanly in the midsection, that's a stopper right there, Chris. And look at the intercepting movements from Basharat. He will cut angles, he will change things up, and he will bait you into exchanges and time your response. And already you can see the Taekwondo in him here. Look at that, the hook kick as well. Effortless, no back lift. Open stance right now. That's right foot forward for Basharat, left foot for Hall. That opens up some different things. So it's very interesting to watch the way that these guys will exchange each other. And Hall, for a second there, was thinking about the boxing, but now he's shifted gears. He changed up because he got tagged with the left and the right as Basharat came in, and now he got slammed. Beautiful high crotch, getting the lift there, and this is Basharat's game. He will throw you down, and he will not even think about controlling you. He'll go right for chokes, right for leg locks. He is a dynamic grappler, if I've ever seen one. Going for the choke here. It's dangerous times for Tony Hall, and it was all set up, Chris, by that left and right. Thought about that Dars choke, but didn't quite have a good enough speed. Look at that. Elevator hook, spinning, looking for the lag. Hall grimaces as he looks to defend here, but it shows the changes. And again, this is the London shoot in Basharat now, isn't it? Super intuitive. They are one of the most forward-thinking gyms in the world, and also a very old-school gym, if you think about it, in mixed martial arts. So they mix the best of the old and all of the new. Well, that's a perfect combination when you've got old-school skills and a young man like this with all the flamboyance. You combine the two, it's a deadly combination. And you never know what's coming with Basharat because you think he's going to grapple, and then he starts throwing wheel kicks on you. Now, for Tony Hall, I know it's easier said than done when I'm safe here in the commentary position, but when he looks for those flamboyant kicks, that's when you've got to step in and catch him on the way in with your own punches. That's what he didn't want. The back fist lands cleanly. Hall takes it well, but he had to take it, Chris. Beautiful liver shot there from Basharat, switching up again with the flying knee. Yes, trademark flying knee from Basharat. And as I was saying, it's easier said than done. But when you see him start to key off on these dangerous maneuvers, you've got to step in and throw your own work, catching him on the way in. If you let him fully extend and land, you're in real trouble. Hall has survived the early storm thus far. Plenty of wilted under the pressure of Basharat. He's got to get behind that jab. He's got to make Basharat respect his control right now. That's where he's got to make it pay, is when Basharat goes to go for something and changes his mind and just does the spin. We see it very often in the tie boxing. He must step in, but he's just thrown to the canvas there by Basharat. Beautiful little trip there from Basharat. He actually thrust his hips in and caught him. I mean, it's just unreal to see the types of different skills from these fighters out of the London shoot camp. Again, Basharat, front headlock position. He's got that chin strap. He'll go right to the choke here. He'll swap up to the Dars. 
He's got a ton of different options here. Look at this. Legs in, catches the sweep and the reversal. And again, we, he's got enough time to manage this as well, Chris. But what it does do is even if Tony Hall manages to escape, he's been totally dominated in this opening round. And he has got back fair play to him, but it's been a dominant round so far for Basharat. He seems to have really kind of thrown so many puzzles and tricks out there that Hall just cannot keep up. He's got to come up with an answer right now for the distance and the movement. Hall has got to have peripheral vision on those hips of Basharat. You can just see the slightest setup when he goes to spin with the twist on those hips. Much better there, a good jab there for Hall. He needs to step in when Basharat doesn't... Oh, he steps in, but it takes the knee before he can throw the elbow. And this is what we talked about in that walkout. This was going to be a contrast of finishing styles, and that has a lot of potential for an all-action matchup like that here at Bama London. Well, when you don't know what's coming next, just like that from Basharat, you've got to exploit every opportunity when Basharat changes his mind. He doesn't do it often, but when he does, you've got to step in and punish him. The trouble is when he's got so many looks and angles and is cutting space like this, look at that. He actually spun the wrong way and gave his back up because he knew that Hall wouldn't come in. I mean, it's just amazing to see the way the Basharat controls the ring. Flying knee from Hall. And Basharat shrugs it off and then comes in with a left and right as if to say to the judges, don't mark me down for that. What an opening round. And everything you said about Basharat was shown in that opening round, Chris. Well, there was so much action in there, Malcolm. I'm not even sure where to begin with my recap, but if I had to kind of put it down to one thing, it would be the fact that Basharat was a little bit more effective in mixing things up and keeping Hall guessing. He did. Um, Hall never really got into his stride here, and it's the way that Basharat, as you said, changes direction, switches up. Hall does the right thing here to tie up, but gets slammed. Beautiful lift there, getting the hips in just right. High crotch, single, and then look at that, swaps right to that Darcy, nearly caught that. Spinning back fist, 360, left hook to an uppercut. Here, another angle on that, just a sensational technique on display from Basharat. What impressed me about that, Chris, is most people would have settled for landing that back fist clean and seeing what damage it did. He followed it up, a natural finisher's instinct. So round two, of a scheduled three here at Bama London. And what an incredible evening for both men to showcase their talent. Malcolm, we've seen it all so far. Yes, and Tony Hall, he's proven durable. He's shown he's got a good chin, but he needs more. That's not enough to win him this bag. What he needs to do is actually turn Basharat's flamboyance against him. Every time he tries something that doesn't work, Hall's got to be in his space and in his face. A little bit more of a patient approach from Basharat, but you just get the feeling. Hall controlling now at two steps out. This is much better. This is a distance that favors him here. You can already start to see the switching from Basharat to try to find a way in, bait Hall to kind of lose his discipline for a moment, and then he'll intercept. But this is good. Hall's got to kind of move with little half steps off that jab. Hall's corner clearly said, be first, Tony, be first. And it's easier said than done when, when you don't know what the guy's going to do, but I know what they mean. You can't wait for that. That was Taekwondo 101, the front, side kick. Front leg side kick, and you see that from these guys. You know, when they've got those dynamic kicks in the arsenal, it's no longer just a front push kick or a teep. You know, they'll use that front leg side kick as a distance management technique, and it works beautifully. And then the level change! Oh, that's what you call a rounded game, Chris. It's not the art, it's the artist involved can make anything work from your arm if you're good enough. And it's also that decision-making on the fly. Hall looking for a choke here, but Basharat passing correctly. He'll actually try to slide out of that guard to the opposite side of where his head is being controlled, and now a dominant position. What it's done is given him, as you said, very dominant side control now, and you feel for Tony Hall. He's not necessarily doing anything wrong. Watch this, he'll try to turn in and recover, and then Basharat will go right to that choke. Going for the guillotine, high elbow, sitting in, this looks tight. He's tapped, Chris, you called it, he's tapped, Basharat. What a complicated man, but what an incredible performance. Yavid Basharat submits Tony Hall at the SSC Arena. Oh, this man has everything, Chris. You can see why he's a rising star, you can see why the crowd's love him. There's the flamboyance, but there's the technique to go with it. He's that mix, as you said, perfectly of traditional and modern.
unbelievable stuff there. He had two TKOs going into this, as well as a heel hook in his pro career. He's now two finishes with the hands and two by a sub. Beautiful to watch here, Chris. Talk us through this. This was unreal, man. Paul was looking, obviously, to get on top. Bakshroff thought about going for that Darcy again, but it hadn't worked the first two times, so he swapped to the high elbow guillotine. He knew he had it. Look at this. The other angle sits in. It's only with half guard, but he's doing the correct thing and trying to flip Paul over. Tons of torque there. And here we go, swapping from one choke to the next. He thought about that Darcy. Paul was unable to fight here in time. Excellent grip control, and it's a submission win for the young man from London by way of Afghanistan, Yavid Basharat. Here's Buddy Johnson with the official announcement. Inside the banner cage, our referee Daniel Morbahedi caught the stoppage to this bout at 1 minute 42 seconds of round number two. To your winner by submission with guillotine in the blue corner, Javid Bashar!